Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to make right angles. Now, sometimes when you're making jewelry pieces, you would like to make something that has sharp 90 degree angles on it, or any angle for that matter. And there's a specific way of handling this situation to make a very clean result. Let me show you the tools that you're going to need to do this. First, you're going to need a saw blade and your saw frame. You'll also need the 45 90 degree cutting jig, and we have a video on this. You'll also need a pair of dividers, and you'll also need either a pair of calipers or a ruler. And you'll need two files, a triangle file and a square needle file. You also may want to include a triangle scraper in this set of tools, but it's not 100% necessary. And don't forget to wear your safety glasses. I'm wearing mine just to keep my eyes safe, but also because I've got a little bit of magnification and that helps. So let me show you the process before we begin. Now, if I'm trying to make a square like the one I have here, you notice that I've determined that all the sides are going to be equal. And in this example, I have them all being about one inch in length. So the first thing that I need to do is I'm going to find a piece of stock, whether it's silver, gold, or even copper. I want to find a piece of wire that's going to have enough length. So in the drawing here, I've just drawn a length of, of wire, and I'm going to pretend that it's exactly four inches enough to make this square in the example. Now, the first thing that I would want to do is to take the 45 90 degree cutting jig and to just angle the edges or the ends of the wire to 45 degrees. Now, the reason why I'm using 45 degrees is because when you buy a picture frame or you make one, all of the corners of that picture frame are mitered. And each of these corners is made up of two segments that both have a 45 degree angle coming together to make the 90 degree right angle. All right, so the, the next step that I need to do with my piece of stock would be to measure. So I'm going to start from this edge and I would measure the four different segments of the square. So of course we're gonna have one that's gonna be right in the middle at that two inch mark, and there would be one for one inch and a one inch coming in from the side. Once you've marked your material, you then can begin to prep each of these areas to be, be turned into a right angle. So the first step that we're gonna do, it's going to involve your saw blade. And what the saw blade is going to do is it's going to be used to just be, become a little notch on the top of your wire. You're just going to saw to the depth of the blade. And this just makes a guide for you to use with the files. Now, step number two, now that's gonna involve using a triangle file on point. And when you see in the diagrams, these little hatch lines, that just tells you where there are teeth on the file. But this file, which is a 60 degree angle, is going to be used just to make a wider notch. We're just removing material in the second step. Then finally, when we get to step number three, I'm going to use a square needle file on its point and what that will do is it's going to create the two 45 degree angles and if you've gone far enough it should make the bottom of the material bulge out just slightly underneath it. In other words you want to file to a point where the pressure will cause the material to poke out a little bit but you won't file through. Okay so now that we've talked about it let me show you how to do it. The first step like I said would be to take the material and using the 45 90 degree cutting jig is to put the 45 degree angles on either side. So I've already done that and you can check that out in the other video. Now next what I want to do is I want to measure. So in this case, assuming that all you have maybe is a ruler, that'll work. You just take your dividers, which is what jewelers use to record 
a precise and accurate measurement that's repeated again and again in a piece. So I just would set the, the, the uh, dividers using the ruler to the one inch mark and then I'm going to come to the end of my wire and hold that marking and then just swipe across my wire to make my line. Now I can go to this step of using the jeweler saw. So I'm just going to stand right here and do this and all I need to do is just put the jeweler saw right on that line and I'm just going to drag it across the line. Now remember all you need to do is just saw to the depth of the blade. You don't want to saw too deeply. So it's hardly noticeable but maybe you, the camera can pick it up. We've just put a little notch on the top of the wire. So once you've done that then you're ready to pick up your triangle file and using that notch as a guide you're just going to file in a straight line. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me file, so I've already prepped another piece right here. And you can see that I've used the triangle file. It fits in perfectly into this notch. But you can see I've removed a, the bulk of the material from this, this joint. So, a little tip when you're doing this. If you have trouble filing, a good tip is to use maybe like a machinist square or something that has a right angle to it and you could draw a line or a right angle on your bench and that way you can just line up the wire and the file and just go in a perfect combination of two pieces coming to an intersection at a perfect right angle while you file. That way you know that you're going to be going through the material perfectly. Okay, so then the next step is going to be that I'm going to use the square file. And you can see right here where these angles have opened up quite a bit. Now I could do a little bit more here because I don't have that little bulge at the bottom of the material. Remember, you're almost filing through it, but not quite. And if you don't see that little bit of a bulge, it's okay. But if you do, don't panic. It's normal. All right, so let me do this one a little bit more, and then I'll show you how to make the bend. So, like I said, I want to sit at my bench, and I'm going to put the file in, and I do like to look at other angles in the area to just make sure that I'm doing this at a perfectly right angle. So I'm going to just swipe the file through, Now, be patient with yourself because this will take time to perform this correctly. Okay, so I now have this notched very deeply and I'm ready to make the bend. Now some of you are going to go, oh my god, I, I filed all the way through it. Don't panic, you can still solder them together. It's just important that you get the angle correct. Now when you bend the material, be careful, go slowly. So let's bend this. We're just going to bend it nice and slow, just trying to get it even. And I can bring back out my machinist square and I can finish the bend by pushing the material into the corner of the square. There we go. And now I have a right angle on my wire. Now, if you forgot to go to the square wire or to the square file and you have stopped at the triangle, that 60 degree angle is going to create the base of a hexagon. And maybe that's something that you want to explore in your jewelry. I hope you have fun making angles. Now remember, the last step, of course, is to solder these corners shut. Essentially, they're butt joints, and we have a video on how to securely solder butt joints together so that they don't open up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, there are plenty more like it on our website at onlinejewelryacademy.com. 
You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you'd like to support the production of more videos like this, you can participate in fan funding. And we have a video on that too. Thanks for watching.